Hi, welcome to my school of nutrition. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be talking about the tongue today, which is kind of a funny topic, but I, I think a lot of people don't know what I'm going to tell you guys. Have you, I, Ken and I used to love to watch American Idol, and some of the singers when they sang, they'd have a completely white-coated tongue. And some people I watch on TV, when they're talking, they have a white, really white-coated tongue. And then the big thing today is for women to stick out their tongues when they're smiling. You know, instead of smiling, they stick out their tongue, which is completely, to me, inappropriate and not doesn't look good at all. So, um, and it shouldn't be something that godly women do. It's not being discreet. So anyway, and then some of the tongues are so white coated and so ugly. I don't know if you guys notice that, but I do. And it's because for thir for 20 years, my tongue was really coated when my gut was so bad after I was loaded with parasites. And then I had to go on a bunch of drugs to get rid of them. It just destroyed the healthy flora in my gut. And so it was really unhealthy. And I would wake up and my coat, tongue would be so coated, I'd brush and brush and brush and brush it. And even a couple hours later, it would be coated. And um, my mom taught me growing up that that was a sign of um, a bad gut or cleansing sometimes if you, if you fast. Like she, would, she fasted on just water for a couple weeks to get rid of her colitis in her tongue, getting rid of all the toxins. toxins. But mostly it's um, from just having a bad gut. And like Hippocrates, the father of medicine, said, health begins in the gut. So for most diseases, um, you need a really healthy gut. And today we have so many things that are taking away the healthiness of our gut, the chemicals, the pesticides, the antibiotics, the um, GMOs, um, food that's gone so far away from the way God created for us to eat it. And then drugs hurt the healthy bacteria of the gut. And so drugs is, and parasites are what hurt my gut so badly for so, so many years. And I was trying everything to try to get well. And I just couldn't get a pink, healthy tongue. <laughs> so anyway, I um, went to a naturopath a year and a half ago, a year ago. It was just been a year ago. And she put me on, and I've, t I've shared this before, but this product is so amazing. In fact, I was talking to my brother-in-law. He's a chiropractor and he sells it. He said people with Crohn's disease and colitis he's, and really leaky gut issues I've been healed, but the repair bite, that's, you know, I do it, take it first thing in the morning. I told you that before. But first thing in the morning, let it just, for an hour before I eat anything, I just let it go through my whole gut. It's got aloe vera in it and licorice and old glutamine. And then you need really good probiotics to uh, repopulate the gut um, bacteria. So, and I take this ortho powder. I think I've shared this too. I've shared both of these things before, but um, I just wanted to discuss in relation to the tongue and because your tongue is a sign of your gut health. Babies, when they're born, they have really pink, pretty tongues and usually breastfed babies stay really pretty and pink and real fresh breath. But formula fed babies will get a coating on their tongue because it's not, formula is not created it's perfectly for babies like breast milk. Man cannot ever improve upon what God created is best for mothers. Like in the olden days, they um, had midwives, or not midwives, but um, people who, women who were nursing a baby would nurse another baby for them. Um, so all babies were breastfed back then. And my grandmother had seven children and she couldn't nurse her, one of her children for some reason, so she bought a goat and gave that that baby raw goat's milk because a goat only grows up to be a couple hundred pounds like a human being, 150 pounds or something, whereas a cow grows up to be a couple hundred tons, which is way too much concentrated protein for a little baby. But I wanted to show you this yogurt that I found. My sister told me about it. You can get it at Trader Joe's, a grass-fed organic um, uh, yogurt. And it's I get mine from my health food store and it's so good. I have it every morning. I wrote a post about it last week that I put blueberries and properly prepared walnuts on it and raw organic honey. And, um, and raw organic honey is so good for you too and nourishing. You just want to make sure that you're feeding your family as nourishing food as possible because it's your immune system that will, is going to fight any type of disease or infection that you have, viral or whatever. A healthy immune system is vital to good health. And with our society being so polluted, we have to be a lot more extra careful, a lot more careful about um, and intentional about feeding our family 
healthy food. Also, I roast chickens quite a bit, and it's best if you can get um, pastured chickens who ate grass, you know, and wild-caught fish that were just wild, and then um, grass-fed beef and organic foods. And you just think about it, 100 years ago, we didn't even have the words organic, wild-caught, grass-fed, pastured, pastured eggs, because all the food was that way, but now it's not anymore, so you have to be intentional in trying to find, and if you can't afford it, just try to do the best that you can. There's a dirty dozen, make sure you're buying the dirty dozen. Um, but meats are real important to eat um, grass-fed, wild-caught, pastured, because for some reason, I've the, the food chain, for some reason the food chain is really important to have those be as healthy as possible, even if you just don't have to cut down on all that food and just eat it in smaller portions. At least you're eating it healthy, and it's nourishing, and it's not health destroying. And so, um, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I am 58 years old. So anyway, and then I take a good, I good take good fish oils in the morning that my naturopath gave me, and I try to eat wild caught fish. And then, oh, I know I was going to say the chicken. <laughs> I I roast the chicken. And then I make a broth out of it. I just put all the bones and the fish, I mean the fish, the skin and everything into a pot and the fat. And I cook it for about four to six hours. And then I skim it, it, it and then I put in a great um, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, um, potatoes, yams, um, just a ton, a ton of vegetables. And I just put, first I saute an onion in some ghee, or some avocado oil and, and really saute it really well and then I add the chicken broth and then I add all of these vegetables and then you can add ch um, chicken to it and I have that every night for dinner because that broth heals your gut too it's real nourishing to your bones and your joints and, and everything so a lot of chicken broth for your family um, just go back to pure garden if you have to grow some vegetables own some chickens if you can <laughs> We can't hear, but <laughs> I always thought I would like to be a farm woman and be able to do that, but I'm not healthy and strong enough to do that. So thankfully, I've, where I live, we can get all this healthy food really close to us, which is really nice. And um, fresh produce that's from farmed, you know, a couple miles away in an organic farm. So we're really blessed to be able to live here. And if you don't live in a place where you have it, just you just do the best you can. That's all you can do, and then leave the rest to the Lord, and don't worry about it because this isn't our home, we're just kind of passing through, but it's nice while we're living here to be, I don't know, just God, you think about God and the way he's created us and nature and food, who can, who can do better than what God, how God created food for us? Nobody, man cannot improve. So just go back to the way God created us, God created food and, and live, as, live that way as, as much as possible, as much as you can afford and it's simply so anyway so here's two healthy pink tongues because <laughs> they're much prettier to look at when people and you don't have bad breath um, white coat tongues give you bad breath and um, so just um, the key is to just heal your gut brush your tongue every day and just see if you can have a healthy tongue because <laughs> that means you have a healthy gut and that since my gut's been healthier I my whole body feels a lot healthier because it absolutely is um, the key to good health is a healthy gut. Um, I wish it healed brain tumors, but oh well, you can't have everything. <laughs> and healed pituitaries, but oh well. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.